I'm an addict for sneakers. I'm an addict for sneakers. Sneaker addicts, what's good? It's your boy DJ Dells. We got the upcoming Air Jordan 9 Midnight Navy University Blues in hand i'm gonna give you an unbiased detailed super detailed review before we do subscribe if you're new plus hit the notification bell ring my bell so you get notified as soon as i upload a new video when i go live you get to watch the live stream we got my sneaker addict t-shirts thank you to everyone that's been buying them they will be linked in the description box below support the channel pick one up today these right here are fire in my opinion huge fan of the jordan 9 i have a huge collection of them i actually did a collection video many many years ago and i have even more than that now i should probably redo that but i will put a pop-up probably at the end of the video if you want to see that collection video or just search dj dell's air jordan 9 collection the colorway is basically the air jordan 9 low that released Pretty sure it was called like the pearl blue back in the days, but it's basically as a high now. That's the best way to put it. And I like that it's a high now because I'm not the biggest fan of Air Jordan lows. It's just not my thing. Maybe yours, but not my thing. I prefer them as high tops. Enough with all the talking. Let's get up close. As you can see, you've got your blue pan leather wrapping around. You got that white full grain leather and you got that stitching which is supposed to be inspired by baseball. A lot of inspiration to baseball. This was when Michael Jordan retired when this released. And you got your hits of blue by the laces. And the stitching, I love how it looks. I'm a huge fan of this shoe right here. I'm trying to give you different lighting so you can see the vibe. You've got your hit of university blue on that jump man right there. And then, as you can see, like heavy inspiration to a cleat, a baseball cleat right there on the midsole. And on the outsole, you've got your University Blue Jumpman on the heel. On the forefoot now, you have a lot of different sayings from different cultures on the forefoot. This shoe was to represent Jordan brand going global. You see the globe right there. A lot of baseball inspiration and just showing love to the world. A lot of different stuff just giving you that global vibe. This was a big deal when this shoe released. It's really where Jordans really started going all over the world. Like it was a major global release. Up close you got your pull up top. And then you have your university blue globe. And then you have your stitching right there. That 23. Looking at the medial side. As far as the fit. Go through the size on these. Not necessary to go up half a size. They're a pretty wide shoe as it is. Unless you have that Fred Flintstone. That cinder block. That dinosaur foot. Then maybe go up half a size. But if that's not the case. Then stay true to size. You want to avoid creasing on these. Not a good look when these crease. So try to keep it where there's not a lot of room by the toe. You don't want that look. You don't want these J's creasing on you. Not a good look out there. By the way, please hit that thumbs up button right now. I really had to go out of my way to get you an authentic, keyword authentic, early, detailed look. So everyone bang that thumbs up button. Show that love. Show that sneaker community love. I definitely would appreciate it. And thank you. Bird's eye view on the toe. Check it out. Check it out. Going up. You've got your rope laces right there, your mesh tongue, and then you have your branding up top in that university blue. And then looking at the back, you got your tag right there. And this shoe has a booty system, very comfortable, that booty booty system with your Jumpman in that university blue. And there you go with a close-up HD look. Let me know right now. Let me know in the comment box, hot or not. Let me know how you feeling about them. Are you on the fence? Is it an Instacop? Are you going to wait for them to go on sale? A lot of people think these are going to be sitting on the shelves marinating. Are they going to marinate? Are they going to sit, collect dust? Are they flying off the shelves? I want to know. I want to know from you, 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 and you. So you let me know in the comment box below. Me personally, I think these are going to sit. I do not see these things flying off the shelves, but... Keyword, but if you really want these, don't sleep. Always get them on the release of when these drop. So do not sleep. These will be releasing on the 9th for $190. It's so strange how some Jordans are $190 now. Some are 
200 I just don't understand what's going on with this price point right here. I just don't get it. But I'm glad these are 190 instead of 200 I plan on getting them when they go on sale. I think they're going to go on sale. I'm shooting my friend's pair right now, and I don't plan on getting these when they first release. That's it for today's vid. Thanks for tuning in. If you're just hanging out, watch more vids. If you love podcasts, listen to mine over at patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. That will be linked in the description box below. Listen to the podcast. We talk about that dude, Jussie from Empire. We talk about the Super Bowl. We talk about sneakers, WWE, all types of stuff. That Fire Festival documentary. I mean, we talk about all types of stuff. So definitely check out the podcast over at patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. Definitely a good time. And don't forget, we got the t-shirts. All that will be linked in the description box below. Much love out there. We out. We out. Here, DJ Dells. Look, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, oh, oh. Tens, right? Ten. Tens. Close. 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 No one's a ten with me. Hey. But. I'm an addict for sneakers. Talk to you, everybody. It's the one. It's the only. It's Eli Drake. I'm here with DJ Dells. Who? DJ Dells. Yeah. And uh, he's a sneaker addict, okay? I actually suggested rehab. The funny thing is, today, we got great taste, and I'll tell you why. Bang. Look at, oh, look at that. We rocking the same sneakers. Great minds think alike. Yeah. Is, what is your favorite Air Jordan? The 11s. The 11s? Hands down. In what colorway? Ah, uh, Concours. OG, the first ones you ever saw. The white with the black. Why? The, they, they reminded me of wrestling boots the first time I saw them. I thought of like Bret Hart's boots. And I was like, man, those are awesome. Never saw a basketball shoe like that. Uh, became obsessed with them. Used to get all the East Bay magazines and just stare. And I was like, I need to have these. I need to have these. The first ones I ever got were the Breads. Uh -huh. The Bread 11s. Um, but uh, eventually, I think it was maybe three or four years ago, I finally got my first pair of Concords. You know he's official when he's mentioning East Bay magazines, East Bay magazine. catalogs. That is, you can't get more official. That's oh, yeah. very legit talk oh, right yeah. there. By the way, we noticed right here, we're noticing right here, you've got this uh, comes from? inspiration from the Jordan 11 exactly. t-shirt. Where can they buy this t-shirt? Uh, you can buy that at prowrestlingtees.com slash Eli Drake or right here at WrestleCade today, dummies, but you're not here. So <laughs> prowrestlingtees.com slash Eli Drake. Uh, now, do you know that they're re-releasing the Concords this year? I have heard that. And it's going to have the 45 in the back instead of the okay, 23. I dig that, because yeah, because that was the way that they came out the first time, because uh, when he came back in 95, yes. and he wore them against, uh, the, the, it was the Orlando Magic in the playoffs, mm -hmm. uh, before he switched back to 23 in the middle of the series. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so that would be cool, actually, have So that's releasing next week. So you may want to lock those in. Mental note. Now, I could swear, did you ever have any wrestling boots that had that Concord colorway? I did. You and, did? I'm, and I've also now I knew actually it. just started wrestling in Jordans, uh -huh. and I added a uh, like a sleeve that makes them look just like those boots that I have. Made. Okay. So, it's pretty cool. I got good memory. I, I, I'm going to pat myself in the back. Barry Hollywood, man. I mean... <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, there you go. Let me throw this on top. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, that is... Awesome right there. Let me get, let me get that close. There's, there's detail here, you know? That's my logo. That is awesome. You know, throw him on top. Make sure to check him out on Impact every Thursday every night. Thursday, 10 p.m. So happy he's back. Billy! DJ Dallas. DJ Dallas. And your Benjamin. <laughs> Prepare the battlefield. For massive, massive. That's right. Delete! Delete. Delete! Delete! DJ Dells. Senor Benjamin, where's Vanguard 1? He's up there watching more of He's always he surveilling. Oh, sure surveillance? Yeah. For security, right? <laughs> security purposes? Thank God. Thank God for him. I prayed for him when yeah. he was hurt. I prayed every night. Well, he was drinking too much last night. I know. Oh, yeah? What were you drinking? Tequila? <laughs> Oh, that's DJ Dells. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Senor right, Benjamin. Way to a bottle for massacre. What's up, guys? It's Taya. And you're hanging out with DJ Dells. Hey, quick question. What was the last song you listened to that you remember? Uh, right now, I want a reggaeton kick. I just oh, yeah? Spanish music. 
Okay, that's what's up. You know, a little, a little Cardi B, a little Taki Taki, a little. <laughs> <laughs> So Cardi B over Nicki Minaj? Ooh, I like both of them, but I'm, right now I'm, I'm, I'm more on Team Cardi than I am on Team Nicki. Yeah, I'm, I'm Team Cardi too. Yeah. Team Cardi all the way. <laughs>